player, and Bisu's going to need to do something really quickly if he wants to stay in this game, because Iris is in a very strong economic position right now, and I feel he's going to have the capability to move out and seize map control, and if Bisu is not careful, even put a stranglehold on Bisu's natural expansion. It looks like Bisu's putting a starport up, interestingly enough, so it looks like Bisu's going to be looking to transition into Arbiters for late game play. Uh, I'm not sure how effective that's going to be. Um, I'm not sure if Bisu really has the resources to make it that effective right now and keep up with Iris in terms of unit counts, in terms of his economy, especially if Iris decides to expand a second time, which of course isn't necessary for the Terran player to do at this point in the game, but he certainly could if he wanted to. And just as I say that, it looks like Iris is moving a force of tanks and vultures out, force of factory units towards Bisu's side of the map. Bisu has spotted with his observer. He knows this is coming. This is going to be Bisu's opportunity to pull his forces back. Battle going down here. This is going to be really decisive. Uh, it looks like Iris's tanks are somewhat out of position. Iris has no vultures in position. Iris losing a lot of tanks here. I can't help but feel this was a big mistake in micromanagement of unit micromanagement on Iris's part, and Iris is going to lose all those tanks, and that is going to put Bisu back into this game. Bisu can now comfortably take a second expansion, knowing that he has destroyed Iris's army, and that was a big mistake on Iris's part. Iris had control of this game, he was in a comfortable position, and he squandered it with that completely fail, complete failure of a timing push. I'm not sure what he was thinking, but that's really certainly failed. And you, you, you have to feel that Bisu has now uh, swung this game back in his favor despite his failed harasses. And it looks like Bisu is warping in his uh, Arbiter Tribunal right now, so he is going to have Arbiters out. And critically, he is going to have that third gas very soon, the third gas he's going to need in order to support a sizable, you know, tactical force of Arbiters. Hmm. Excuse me. Oh, oh man, wearing out my voice. And it looks like Iris is trying to get some speed vultures into Bisu's natural expansion for a second time. But uh, Bisu isn't going to fall for that again. Uh, Bisu is going to ward those vultures away before they manage to sneak into his probe lines again. Um, and right now, I mean, it lo I mean, Iris has his units out of the map, but Bisu uh, definitely is in control of this game. And I, I believe Bisu is setting down another expansion. I thought I saw him setting down another expansion somewhere, maybe at the lower right-hand corner. Um, I I'm pretty sure. It looks like Bisu is coming for an attack here. He's going to counterattack against Iris. Uh, Bisu looks like... I can't tell. Maybe Bisu said... Come on, the Observer moved away from the battle. I can't see what's happening. Um... I'm not sure what, if that battle was decisive for either player or what. I think Bisu did back off. And no, Bisu must have lost that battle because Iris looks like he's setting up for a slow contain on Bisu's natural expansion. And if Bisu isn't careful, he might be in a lot of trouble here. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. The Terran player is just so good at setting up these sorts of contains. But it doesn't look like there are a whole ton of siege tanks there. I'm not sure if uh, this contain is going to be effective. I think if Bisu just uh, manages to get a simple flank off, I think he'll be able to break this contain. But if he's going to do that, he better hurry, because Iris is almost within range of his probe line. And if he gets those siege tanks in range of his uh, probe line at Bisu's natural expansion, Bisu is going to be in trouble. I believe Bisu is setting up an expansion at that uh, sort of two, or excuse me, that sort of three o'clock position, uh, just north of three o'clock, actually. Uh, not quite there on this map. And Bisu does have Arbiters out. Those Arbiters are going to be very useful. And to, I have not... I mean, I have not seen an Academy or a Comsat station. The, the Observer has not given us very good glimpses recently of Iris's main base. I'm not sure if Iris... I'm sure he does at this point. I'm sure he's anticipated these. But I'm not sure if he has a starport up. He's going to need science vessels in order to counter these Arbiters. And if he doesn't get those science vessels out, he's going to be way far behind. Okay, so Iris does have the Comsat station. He is able to scans. But the thing is, the scans will only hold the Terran player for so long. Eventually, he will need... Uh, a starport and a science facility and a fleet of science vessels in order to counter those arbiters because if he doesn't have the EMPs those arbiters will just be able to use stasis or recall just at will and it'll be really bad news for 
Iris's factory units, his factory army, which, frankly, is not expendable. And it looks like Iris is going for a harass of Bisu. Oh, critically, Bisu has lost the Nexus at his natural expansion. Iris has gotten another fleet of vultures into Bisu's main base. This could be seriously bad news. Bisu has no forces at his main base. Okay, it looks like he has a, <coughs> excuse me, a couple zealots. But, oh, this is horrible for Bisu. Bisu has nothing at his main base. Bisu is going to lose all of his probes at his main base. And you've got to feel that this is a big, big problem for Bisu. Bisu does have those Arbiters out, but he has lost all of his probes at his main, and that is going to be horrible news for him in the long run. It looks like Bisu has a, an Arbiter and a shuttle back at his main. I'm not sure if it's in the shuttle. A couple of Dragoons, so he's managed to drive those Vultures off. But the damage has been done. And Iris, once again, keeping himself in this game and possibly even swinging the pendulum back in his favor, Bisu has lost all his mining probes at his main and natural expansions. And that is going to be a big problem, because now all Iris has to do is find a way to destroy Bisu's army, and if he does that, he has the game comfortably, because Bisu isn't going to be able to rebuild his army in an acceptable amount of time. And I, I feel that that was just careless play on Bisu's part. Bisu should not have left his main exposed like that. Uh, Iris should not have been able to just walk uh, just a small force of uh, vultures into Bisu's main and take out all of Bisu's probes. That, I feel that that's inexcusable play on Bisu's part. And Bisu is counterattacking at Iris's main base. And he, he may be able to take it out, but I mean, the damage has already been done. He is going after those ComSat stations uh, to sort of diminish Iris's ability to detect his uh, cloaked forces, thanks to those Arbiters. Looks like Bisu does have a pylon wall up at his uh, last mining expansion, but that's going to go down very quickly to this fleet of siege tanks. And I have to be honest with you, this is not looking good for Bisu right now. Bisu has lost a ton of economic capabilities. His last mining base is totally under siege right now. Bisu is going to lose everything at this 3 o'clock expansion. And I feel that, oh, nice stasising his own Dark Templar on the ramp that's going to keep those siege Siege tanks from entering uh, the base proper, but it's not going to matter because the damage has already been done. Bisu has basically no economy at this point, and what that means, I mean, he he's using what forces he has very well, but I mean, it doesn't matter at this point. And it looks like Iris is setting up that third expansion, or excuse me, that second expansion. But it's fairly erroneous at this point because. I mean, the, the game, Iris uh, comfortably has this game. You've got to feel this is GG. Uh, there's really no way for Bisu to come back now because Iris is just so far ahead economically. Bisu carefully losing probes to that spider mine there. And uh, unless Iris makes some sort of monstrous mistake, this is over. I mean, he has those Goliaths out. Those Goliaths are being are going to be able to comfortably take out those Arbiters, I feel. And Iris just has the forces to overwhelm what few troops Bisu has remaining on the ground. And uh, right now I just feel that Bisu is just dragging this game out. There's no way to come back for him, barring some sort of uh, bizarre mistake on his part. And uh, Bisu looks like he's going to try and hold this uh, what this little expansion that remains, but that stasis doesn't last on the Dark Templar. Those tanks siege up and blow up that Dark Templar just almost immediately. And Iris is just running all over. Bisu is going to lose everything at that last expansion of his, and that's going to be GG because he just doesn't have the economy to support his army. And I feel the big turning point of this game, the point where Bisu definitely lost this game, was that moment where Iris was able to sneak that force of vultures, that force of speed vultures, and yeah, Bisu GG's to be expected. Iris takes game three. Uh, disappointing as a Bisu fan, I feel that Bisu lost the game when Iris snuck those speed vultures into his main and killed all his probes. That was just inexcusably careless on Bisu's part. So it's unfortunate, but let's hope he learned his lesson. GG, guys. I hope to see you guys in Game 4. This has been Vanel, signing off.